Okay. So another example here is we want to put this piece right here because it's yellow and green. It goes between yellow and green. So first we have to match with yellow <coughs> and we have to align this part of the bar, the uh, vertical bar, and now we have to turn this to uh, go into the bar. We turn the bar vertical and then we fix this part. Um, you, if you just practice with this, you'll get it. It's pretty easy. So um, this piece here has to go all the way over here. So it's a little difficult to do because you have to remember you can't turn the blue or green face still. So you have to turn it here, then align this part of the bar. So you can match these two up simply like that. We turn the bar up into place, then we turn this back, and we turn this back. So our last piece is somewhat difficult because it's in the orange face, but it needs to go here. So what we have to do is we have to temporarily bring it out of the orange face, then align this part of the bar so that we can match this piece into its correct location, and then we turn that back. And as you'll see, we have our blue cross on the top still, we have our green cross on the bottom, and we have our four bars. And that's what it should look like. Okay, so our goal for this step is to solve the rest of the edges, which are the middle layer edges. For this step, we have to look at all of the middle layer edge pieces, so this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece, and we have to determine which ones are in the correct position and which ones are not. So to do this, we look at we look at one of the pieces and we see whether it's between the two correct centers. So we see that these are not the same color, and these are, but um, this would have to be orange for this piece to be solved. So this is in the wrong position. This one, these two colors don't match. This is in the wrong position. For this piece, we have um, these two don't match, and these two don't match. This is in the wrong position. And for this one, both of these centers and stickers match. So this piece is in the correct position. We have three in the incorrect position and one in the correct position. Now, there are um, three different cases you can have, three different things you have to do. If you have three in the incorrect position like I do, then you simply turn the two adjacent faces that contain these three pieces so we turn these two faces uh, 180 degrees in alternating order until they become solved. Like that. So our blue cross is back where it uh, was, and our green cross. And now all the pieces are in the correct position. Okay, the second case is if you have all of the edges in the wrong position, all the middle layer edges. So in this case, this is incorrect, this is incorrect, this is incorrect, this is incorrect. So all of them are in the wrong positions. What you have to do is you have to randomly turn any two adjacent faces. It doesn't matter which ones. So we'll pick these two adjacent faces, and we'll just turn them back and forth in 180 degrees alternating order. And you keep doing that until the cross becomes solved again and one of the pieces has become solved in the middle layer. So now we can simply, uh, we have three bad edges. I mean, not bad edges, they're incorrectly positioned. Three incorrectly positioned edges. And we hold the two faces adjacent to each other that contain them. We simply turn them back and forth. Oh, they're solved, okay. So we have all correctly positioned edges. The next case you'll have is if you have two incorrectly positioned edge pieces in the middle layer and they're not on the same face, so in this case they're opposite each other, what you have to do is you have to find two faces that are adjacent to each other that contain the two incorrectly positioned pieces. And you keep double turning those faces until you have two incorrectly positioned edges in the same face and two correctly positioned ones in the other face. 
and this is our last case. When you have only two in the wrong position and they are next to each other. And we have to use a very short repetitive algorithm to solve them. And this is simply write down front two. So that means turn the front side 180 degrees in either direction. Write down front two. We just keep repeating this move sequence until all the edges become solved. And actually you'll have to stop fa uh, halfway. So um, now these two pieces are in the correct position and we have all of the edges solved. Okay, so our goal for this next step is to solve the four top blue corners. So this step is actually divided into two parts. We ha first have to correctly position all the, pe the corner pieces in the top layer, and then we have to orient them. Um, the way you position them is you first find a blue corner in the bottom. So you can either use this corner or this corner. And then what you do is you rotate the bottom, temporarily breaking up the uh, green cross, and you put it under the place where you want it to put it. So this corner is blue, orange, and white, and it has to be, go between the blue, orange, and white centers. So we put it under that place where it wants to go, and then we simply do this algorithm. It's right up, up left, left up, up right, right down, up left, left down, up right. And as you can see, we move the piece that was previously here up to here. And you'll notice that it's not flipped the correct way. We don't care about that yet, but it is in the correct position. It's between the blue, orange, and white centers, like it should be. So we continue to move on, and we find another piece in the bottom that has um, a blue sticker. This has uh, also has a red and white sticker, so we know it has to go between uh, these three centers. It has to go right here. So we rotate it so it's under its appropriate slot. We hold it on the right side like this, and we do our move sequence, and it moved up here and so we'll leave it alone now. Now we have two correctly positioned pieces in the top layer. We'll solve another one. Here is a piece that has to go up here because it has yellow and blue and red. Eh, blue and red. And it has to go between the yellow, blue, and red centers. So we hold it like this to move this piece up here and we simply do our move sequence. I move a piece up here, and coincidentally, it is also rotated the, same, the correct way, which is a bonus. Now, we have one more piece down here, and it has to go up here, because it has yellow and uh, orange, and these are the yellow and orange centers. It has to go up here, so we simply use our algorithm to move it from here to here, and then it's in the correct position. Now sometimes you'll have no blue corners in the bottom layer and you'll still have incorrectly positioned pieces in the top, which we don't want. So what we have to do is we have to um, temporarily displace one of the incorrectly positioned corners. Um, so we're going to move this piece up here to move this piece to the bottom layer somewhere. And when we do that, so now it's down here. And when we do that, we can correctly position the piece in the appropriate slot. So we'll move this piece up here. This has yellow and red. This is yellow and red. OK, so we move that piece up here. Now it's correctly positioned. And we have one more blue corner. It has to go up here. So we do our sequence. And it moved from here to here. And now we can reposition our bottom side so that all the pieces of the cross match up.